everyone. I just wanted to check in with my predictions ahead of the Paper 2 Biology exam. So clearly you should be prioritising the Paper 2 topics. That includes the kidney, understanding its role in both osmoregulation and excretion. You do need to ensure that you're happy with how ADH relates to osmoregulation. Excretion involves the removal of urea. Do watch my videos if you're not sure. The nitrogen cycle should be a priority. Protein synthesis, and remember, with that comes codominance. Slightly more niche topics include fish farming, but you do need to be specific in terms of if they ask you about how to ensure that you're creating the largest yield of fish, and I made a very recent video helping you out with that. And stem cells often gets forgotten about, and if a question on stem cells comes up and you're not sure what to write, it can't hurt you to write that stem cells differentiate and stem cells divide. But yes, paper two content should be your priority here. But remember, they could ask you about anything on the whole spec. That's what's so frustrating about this exam board is that in paper two, they could potentially ask you about anything. So be clear on what came up in paper one. It's most likely they won't ask you those topics again. But if anything was blatantly missing from paper one, you should be including that in your last minute revision. So that could be looking at the heart, the breathing system, evolution and natural selection, genetic modification, menstrual cycle absolutely could come up seeing as paper two also includes the roles of FSH and LH. So do double check those menstrual hormones for me. And it wouldn't hurt you to look back at genetic modification, specifically the roles of the enzymes, ligase and restriction. This came up a huge amount in paper one, but please don't ignore transpiration in paper two. Remember that's the water loss from a leaf by the stomata, you must learn the conditions which increase transpiration and you must learn how to set up a potometer. So remember, we need to cut that shoot underwater, use Vaseline to seal joints, introduce a single air bubble into the capillary and measure the distance moved after a set time period.